most of us are familiar with shift command free shortcut to capture the entire screen or a selected portion with shift command 4. But what if you want to make a scrolling screen capture of an entire web page? These basic shortcuts just capture only visible areas of your screen. So is it even possible to take a screenshot that includes a whole web page? Yes, there is. But it does take a few extra steps. Luckily, it's not so complicated. There are three basic steps to do that. But after taking the picture, we might need to do some editing to it as well. And I will show you all of that as well at the end of this video, when we get the final product. First step is to get the develop menu. Let's open Safari and go straight away to Safari settings. Click the advanced tab and tick on show develop menu in the menu bar. Second step is easy, just go to the web page you want to capture and from the develop menu choose show web inspector. Alternatively, you could use the shortcut option command i, but you don't really need to remember this. And last step is to select the elements tab and find the line that begins with this bracket html. It should be the first one. Notice once you move your cursor there, it will automatically select the whole section, so you don't need to do anything. Just right click on it and choose capture screenshot. Now give it a moment to generate the screenshot and then select the name and location to save the file. All done. Well, almost. Maybe you have a perfect screenshot already and you don't need to do anything else and stop the video here. Even though it will hurt my watch time, I can't keep you here any longer. But maybe your screenshot will look more like this. The typical issue is that the web pages includes a lot of empty space around the content. So let's quickly fix that too. The screenshot is in PNG format by default. You can change the default format for screenshots. I have made a whole video about it, but in this case, it's actually an advantage to be in PNG. Now double click it to open it in preview. Click the markup tool icon and select the instant alpha tool. It is the second icon. Now click and drag the cursor on the empty area around the image. You will see that the empty space is being selected and highlighted in red. Just don't drag too far or it will select the image as well. We only want to select the empty area. When you let go of the mouse or trackpad, the highlighted color will disappear and it will be replaced with a dotted line which is indicating the selection. Now two quick shortcuts. Shift Command I to invert the selection and Command K to crop it. If you don't want to remember these shortcuts, you will find the invert command in the edit menu and the crop and the tools. But anyway, now you have a perfect image of an entire web page. You can zoom in to see the content and it's all saved automatically, so simply close it. But what is not done automatically is this video being shared with others. If you want to help me reach more people, a simple click on the like button can do a lot. Thanks for your support and I hope you have learned something new.